Thank you. Yeah, I'll take a number five large size with a Dr. Pepper and that'll be it. I don't know why that I am uh, filming putting me uh, by McDonald's in a video. I'm just gonna get in trouble by my wife. She doesn't like me eating here for good reason. Number one, my health. And number two, money. Uh, it is pretty pointless to uh, always go spend money on fast food like this, but I'm on the road all the time. You know what I mean? I'll, I believe you guys know Bobby, I will come at you with excuses. But in other words, today is a much, much, much different video. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna do a lot of different stuff today. We're gonna go pick up Jordan and go uh, check all of his traps. He has traps on the river. He has traps in tree rows. So that's gonna be epic. And I gotta show you a new toy of mine. I said I'd never use one again, but the tides have changed and for good reason. But we will get to that later on in the video. We got a lot to do, y'all. <sighs> You're locked out. That's a dirty trick to play, sir. That's a very dirty trick. Uh, they didn't have your mango, but you said you wanted to try something new. Have you tried that one yet? I have not. I haven't either. So you're gonna brave, be the brave one here. Eh, I like trying new things. You're just uh, ready to go with the GoPro already, eh? Well, I had to get my sexy windscreen on there. Oh, nice, nice sock action. Yeah. Jordan has a YouTube channel. If you don't know about it, now you know. You need to go down in the description, hit the follow button, the subscribe button, whatever it says down there for Jordan's Harvest. Go subscribe. And, and I bring, I bring geese, new geese. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's pretty. The cup ducks hat. Dude, All for you, nice. my man. All oh, for thank you. thank you. So a lot of you that's been around, especially over last summer, did a lot of pigeon trapping, a ton. And believe me, we're firing them back up. I know I've been saying that. I'm not lying. I'm just waiting until after duck season. Now we're getting to the end of it. We're going to start firing up some old pigeon trapping vids. But like I said, Jordan has a YouTube channel. Dude. It's gotten crazy around here. What all you got going on, man? Uh, you need to feed for the turkeys, which oh, they'll be leaving this next week. Oh, you're getting rid of all the turkeys next week, huh? Yeah, but it is time. And then I've got Modinas and old German owls and frillbacks. Check it out, the old German pigeons he has here. He's got a killer setup. If you haven't seen this yet, a lot of you that have been here for a while, you, you know this ladder. You know this ladder. The sketchy ladder. Dude, I yeah, for one, the sketchy ladder with a camera in your hand. Oh, everything about it. Because, all right, the secret about the sketchy ladder is this way it's not broken. If you turn it over, this crack right here oh. will actually break. <laughs> so the sketchy ladder only works one way. Uh, I, last summer, I don't know how many times I went up and down this, loading the pigeons up here into the top of the barn. Let's go check it out. The sketchy ladder's not bad unless unless you're sketchy with it. If you're sketchy as well, it's gonna be sketchy. Here we are though, this is the mighty pigeon loft. Oh, look at them though, looking good. Looking good. Oh, that looks really good. How many's in here now? Uh, I have no idea. I'm guessing <laughs> at least 50, something like that. Around 50? Probably. Depends on how many babies have hap happened. Oh, I got some pretty ones in there. Looks like he went shopping. Yep. <laughs> but that is the mighty pigeon loft. Beautiful, isn't it? Now we're gonna be putting a lot more pigeons in that bad boy, you betcha. What are you doing up front, man? You're supposed to be in the back seat. But before we get to trapping, checking Jordan's traps here, everything on the ducksWaterfowl.com website, just like the vest, the thermal hoodies, the hats, the thermal sweats, all of it. Thermal hoodies, camo hoodies, it's all back in stock. I will link everything down in the description below. A lot of you were asking when we're gonna be stocked back up. Well, the time is now. So, if you're wanting the uh, duck's vest, this one here, I would tell you, go grab it because they're gonna go quick. What's, what do you think? It smells like strawberry. Does it? First reaction? Not bad. Not bad. Hi, huh, Freddy. What are you doing, man? He said, "Where are we, Dad?" Down at the river, old Freddy. This is where uh, this is where Jordan's traps are. This is where his first string is. How many you got down here, Jordan? Uh, seven. Seven total. Yep. 
And uh, you said yesterday you didn't catch anything, right? No, they were all raided. Everything was, well, only one trap was moved and everything else, all the bait was gone. So, uh -huh. I think I got a mouse problem. Oh, a mouse problem. So, uh, you guys remember the last trapping video we did down here? Caught a couple coons. Big, big, big coons. There's a trap way, way down there. And there's a big blob. I'm hoping it's not a stump. Might be a raccoon there. I don't Ooh. know. Maybe. We I might be in luck. We might be in luck. Look at that. I'm gonna put a little extra in it. Hopefully the mice can't eat it all then. Oh, do you think the mice are pulling out your dog I food? think they're running in there, eating it and running off. Gotcha. First thing uh, Jordan asked when he got in the truck was, Bob, you got any dog food in the truck? I said, yeah, why Jordan? He's always got the weirdest things. He, uh, he's been using dog food for bait down here. Today though, how many traps are down here? Uh, there's seven total. Seven total, nothing. Nothing at all. A lot of mice problems. It's cold in Kansas, the mice are coming out. Fred here, come on buddy. Look at that dog. Good looking dog. Time to, time to test my athletics. Oh yeah. Oh look, no deal for Fred, jeez. So Jordan, he was like, Bob, you gotta show your viewers this. Check this little guy out. A white buffalo. Look at him, isn't he cute? I have never seen a white buffalo. He's a tiny little guy. Have you guys ever seen a leucistic, a white buffalo before? That's a first for me. I'll be darn. He's yeah. a cool little dude. Right? Wow, he's tiny. Yeah, he's gotta be maybe a yearling. He's not that old. He's a little dude. My kids, my kids would want him. Oh yeah. Old Freddy, he's loving it. Look at him. So many smells. There's so many smells out here, Dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we're uh, on his next trap set here, driving in, as you can tell, along a tree row. This is nice being able just to drive right in. Mm -hmm. My goodness. That's one thing about Jordan. He's like, Bob, I've been doing this long enough. We don't have to go <laughs> walk right. right here. Yeah. We don't have to go walk. Oh, I see. We don't have to go walk in a half mile. We can drive right up to him. Makes it nice. At least. Oh man. That's... Do what? You got something? Well. Maybe. I just... Maybe. I don't know if it's a possum or a skunk or a It's not a bobcat, but. Oh, gotcha. He's... Yeah, we got something oh, in here. That looks like a skunk. Uh oh. Know, know what that means, right? Oh. Catch, clean, cook. Oh. <laughs> oh, a skunk. Catch, clean, cook. Jordan does those things. Oh, it's a possum. It's a gotcha. Possum. Oh, okay. Possum. A black possum. I was really hoping for a skunk because I've been wanting to do that catch queen cook for a while. Ugh. Okay, well, I'll get him out of here. Well, there we go. Black possum. But he's tiny. What is a little guy? Black possum. Black. Are black possums pretty uh, abundant around here? This is the fifth one I've caught here. Wow. I haven't caught a single silver, but I've caught five black ones. Wow. If y'all catch black possums, drop a comment down below, let me know. Let me know where you're from and if you catch them or not. This is the second one that I've been a part of with Jordan that he's caught. Actually in the same tree row last time we were here. Yep. Oh man, should have brought my setters. Woo! Setting 220s by hand hurts. <laughs> well, uh, we got two more traps to check here on this property. Uh, I know a lot of you probably are waiting to see the gun. I know I'm excited to show y'all nothing, huh? No, it got knocked down though. I don't know. Oh something messed with it, huh? I, I think something went through and it just they bumped it. What type of trap you got sit here? Uh, these are snares. Oh, you got a snare here. Gotcha. I'm not a big trap guy. Y'all know me Well, we're back home and uh, I need to show you the gun But before I show you my new baby, I gotta show you this uh, big shout out to Jeremy Jeremy sent Fred a pair of Rex Specs. Sit down, buddy. We're gonna just call them doggles. Sit, bub. Sit. Look at him. <laughs> we got these a couple days ago. This is not the first time that Fred has had them on, but he doesn't mind them up until, up until I stop paying attention to him. If I'm not paying attention to him, I'm not telling him Fred sit. He'll start pawing at him and rubbing his head on the ground, but look at him. 
Oh, Fred, you look miserable in there. I said, Dad, get these off of me. I know, buddy. So this is what we're going to use for when we go crane hunting. We probably won't make it crane hunting again this year, but next year, uh, Fred will be retrieving them cranes, and by that time, uh, we're going to do some more training with the, with the goggles. We'll go do some water training. We'll go do some field training. Hey, let's see. See, look at this. No, no, no. Leave them on there, buddy. Fred here. Sit. 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 Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good baby. He's a sweet pea. But we're going to start wearing them every now and then just to try to get him used to them. Big shout out to Jeremy. Jeremy actually works uh, in the Air Force. And uh, he emailed me and he said, Bobby, I have a brand new pair of Rec Specs and uh, I'd like to send Fred a brand new pair. Would you mind? And I said, hey, that's awesome. Which reminds me, if you guys want me to open up a P.O. box, drop a comment down below and, and tell me, yes, Bobby, we want you to open a P.O. box. So y'all can send stuff like this if you want. Back to Jeremy. These have uh, been Jeremy's spare doggles while he was deployed all throughout the Middle East. Jeremy is a dog trainer for the Air Force. These things were a spare pair. Never used, but always toted around in his bag. He went all throughout the Middle East. So it's really special. It's really neat to have uh, Fred such a special pair of, uh, of goggles from one of you guys. Woo! Well, had to fire up a fire up a fire. It's a little hot. You feel that, buddy? Feel good, huh? So I told y'all I've always bragged about my three-inch shells. You know me. I have always relied on my three-inch shells and only my three-inch shells. Get out of there! Go! Sorry, I had to go take care of the dogs. I showed you I got two new guns. This is one of them, y'all. Check out that beauty. Silver and black matte. Oh my goodness. So this is Rite's brand new Maasai Mara 3.5. Three and a half inch chamber, y'all. I know, I've always said there'd be no reason for me to go back to a three and a half, but... But, I got these things laying around. Three and a half inch black clouds laying around that Federal sent me, you know? I wanna, I wanna shoot them. And I wanna shoot them at some geese. And I wanna see the difference. I wanna see the pound for pound difference, you know what I mean? So Rite, uh, they reached out yet again. They said, Bobby, we revamped our Masai Mara. We have a three and a half inch version. We'd love to get one in your hands. This is uh, the first one in this color ever in the nation. Uh, I believe, uh, and I got it. So it's really neat, a good looking gun, oversized charge handle. They reduced the size of their safety switch. It's very small now. Uh, before it used to be quite large. Now that's really slimmed down. They've, they've changed it. It feels, it feels a lot different. They changed a lot of the internals a lot too. They said, Bobby, this gun will be the most reliable gun you've ever owned. Uh, let us prove it to you. So they sent me this one and then the other gun they sent me Well, you're gonna have to wait around to see it. I already did a duck hunt with it and It was yummy. It did really really good. I put the pattern master uh, The full choke the code black goose. Yeah, I put on there and we did a duck hunt. So that hunt Should be two videos from now about but I need y'all's help What choke do I get for this bad boy? I want to try something new Y'all know what chokes that, that I have and what I've used. I want something new. Give me your comments. Give me your two cents. Give me your idea. What would pair up well with this setup? I'm going to shoot three inch out of it, but we're also, of course, we're capable now, boys. We're going to shoot them three and a half inch shells. So, I need y'all's help. Let's get a choke bot for this bad boy. Whichever choke is uh, most requested, I will count. We will tally them up, but it has to be something different. Something that I don't already use. I use the Carlson Cremator already, and I use the Pattern Master Code Black Goose Choke. Let's get something different on this bad boy. Y'all know that I like full chokes. It doesn't necessarily have to be an extra full, just a good old extended full choke. Please, let me know down below. But massive shout out to Rite for sending two beautiful, beautiful guns. Can't wait to get this bad boy in action. But be expecting a goose hunt here really, really soon. Getting the old three and a half inch out and letting it rain, boys. I cannot wait. It's been forever. 
But like I said earlier, everything at DucksWaterfowl.com is back in stock, y'all. Thermal hoodies, the vests are back in stock, beanies are back in stock, hats, thermal sweats, like I said earlier, everything is back in stock. I will link all the Ducks Waterfowl gear right here that you see down in the description below. Like you guys know, the videos have been getting slapped with demonetization. It hurts. Whenever you guys pick up something from Ducks, it helps me bring you more of these videos. I always say it. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for uh, always giving me your tips and your ideas. I appreciate it so much. Without you guys, I wouldn't know what to do. But be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there. But until next time. Pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps